Are you prepared if society breaks down or you face a home invasion? This is not a question we often ask ourselves, but it's one that's becoming increasingly relevant in our unpredictable world. Our planet spins on the axis of uncertainty, and we're inhabitants of this spinning globe, subject to the whims of its twists and turns. The world we live in today is as unpredictable as ever. From the large-scale societal breakdowns to the small-scale home invasions, danger can come knocking on our doors at any moment. In this volatile world, preparedness is not just an option, it's a necessity. It's the difference between being a victim and a survivor. It's the shield that guards us from the violent winds of chaos, and the armor that protects us from the sharp arrows of peril. Now, one might wonder, how can we arm ourselves against these unpredictable dangers? The answer lies in fortifying our homes, our sanctuaries, our safe havens. It's about turning our homes into fortresses, impregnable against the threats that lurk beyond our walls. This brings us to the concept of home barricading and safe room creation. Home barricading involves reinforcing your home's entry points to make them resistant to forced entry. On the other hand, a safe room is a fortified area in your home where you and your family can take refuge during a home invasion or in the event of societal breakdown. These concepts are not just about bricks, locks, and walls, they're about creating a sense of security, a feeling of safety, a shield of invincibility against the unpredictable world outside. Remember, it's always safer to hide than to fight. If possible, always try to contact authorities. But in situations where help might be miles away or minutes too late, a well-barricaded home or a secure safe room can be your best bet for survival. For those of you who understand the importance of being prepared, we have a few tips on how to make your home a fortress. Your doors and windows, they are your first line of defense. In our unpredictable world, it is crucial to fortify these entry points. They are the primary barriers between you and potential threats, and their strength can make a significant difference in your home security. Consider upgrading to reinforced doors and windows. These are specifically designed to withstand forceful entry, providing an added layer of protection. They might seem like a hefty investment now, but their value in the face of danger is immeasurable. However, if upgrading isn't an immediate option for you, don't worry. There's another solution, security film. This is a transparent layer that can be added to your existing windows. It enhances their strength, making them more resistant to shattering. This doesn't just deter intruders, it also protects against natural disasters like storms. No matter how you choose to do it, reinforcing your doors and windows is a critical step in home security. Remember, a strong first line of defense is essential in keeping your home safe. Barricading isn't just about piling things up against a door. It's an art, a science, a calculated dance of safety that balances on the fine line of necessity. Let's dive into the nuances of this crucial skill. When you think of barricading, you might imagine hastily throwing furniture against a door, but it's so much more than that. It's about creating a barrier, yes, but also about understanding the physics of weight distribution and the structural integrity of the items you're using. So how does one achieve this? Start with larger, heavier items. Think bookshelves, dressers, or even a fridge if it's within reach. These items should be placed directly against the door or window. This is your primary barricade layer designed to absorb the initial force of an intrusion attempt. Now let's talk about weight distribution. A barricade is only as strong as its weakest point, so distribute the weight evenly across the barricade. This lessens the chance of a single weak point being exploited, enhancing the overall strength of your barrier. Next we add secondary items. These are your chairs, tables, and other smaller but sturdy items. Arrange them against the primary items to add more weight and complexity to the barricade. The goal here is to create a dense, complex structure that is difficult to dismantle quickly. But we're not done yet. Securing the barricade is the final crucial step. Use anything you have at hand, ropes, belts, even duct tape. Secure your barricade to the door handle or window latch, or fasten it to other fixed points in the room. This additional anchoring makes your barricade more resilient against being pushed over or dismantled. Remember, a well-built barricade can buy you precious time in a dangerous situation. Time to call for help, time to find a way out, or time to prepare should the worst happen. With a proper barricade, even a simple bedroom can become a fortress. So, take the time to learn this art. It could be the difference between danger and safety, between fear and peace of mind. It's not just about survival, it's about taking control when the world around you is in chaos. When hiding is safer than fighting, a safe room becomes your sanctuary. This is the ethos behind creating a safe room. It's a place you can retreat to when all else fails, a fortress within your own home. 
Choosing the right room as your safe room is crucial. Ideally, it should have no windows to prevent intruders from gaining access or even seeing inside. It should also be a room that's easy to secure, perhaps one with a solid core door or a door that you can reinforce. The room should be easily accessible to all family members, but not too obvious to outsiders. If you have the option, a room on the first floor may be a good choice for those with mobility issues, while a room on the second floor can provide an extra layer of security. Once you've chosen your room, it's time to fortify it. Reinforcing the door is a good start. You can use a door barricade bar or a security bar to prevent the door from being kicked in. The walls shouldn't be neglected either. Consider reinforcing them with plywood or even steel sheeting to deter intruders. But a safe room is more than just a fortified space. It's also a place where you can wait out a dangerous situation. So, it needs to be stocked with essential items. Think about what you might need if you had to stay in this room for a prolonged period. This includes food and water, of course, but also medical supplies, a means of communication, and even comfort items like blankets and pillows. Remember the safe room isn't just about survival, but also about maintaining a level of comfort and sanity during a stressful situation. Creating a safe room is a serious task but one that's worth the effort. It's about giving yourself and your family a fighting chance when the world outside becomes too dangerous. It's about creating a haven, a sanctuary within your own home. Your safe room is your last resort, make sure it's well equipped. After all, when the unpredictable happens, it's the preparations we've made that can make all the difference. In a crisis, communication can be your lifeline. Picture this. You're secured in your well-prepared safe room, but without a way to reach out to the world beyond your barricade, you might as well be on a deserted island. That's why it's crucial to have a means of communication as part of your safe room essentials. Consider keeping a fully charged phone in your safe room at all times. This device can serve as your connection to the outside world, helping you to contact authorities or loved ones when needed. But what if the phone lines are down or there's no signal? That's where a two-way radio comes in handy. It's a reliable and easy-to-use tool that can help you stay informed and reach out for help, even when other communication methods fail. Never underestimate the power of communication in a crisis. It's not just about calling for help, it's about maintaining a sense of control and connection in a chaotic situation. Remember, your voice can be the most powerful tool in a crisis. By now, you should have a clearer idea of how to secure your home and create a safe room. We've traversed the unpredictable landscape of our world, understanding the importance of preparedness in uncertain times. The first line of defense, as we've learned, is not a physical barrier, but mental readiness and awareness of our surroundings. We delved into the art of barricading, a skill that involves using everyday objects as shields against potential threats. Doors, furniture, and even books can become your fortress when employed strategically. Remember, the goal is to buy time, to create a hurdle that's hard to overcome. Then we ventured into the creation of a safe room, an impenetrable sanctuary within your home. This isn't a luxury but a necessity in today's world. It's a space where you and your loved ones can retreat to, equipped with essential supplies, and fortified to withstand any intrusion. And let's not forget the importance of communication. In a crisis, reaching out to the outside world is paramount, authorities should be alerted as soon as possible. We've explored various means of communication that can be used from traditional landlines to modern satellite phones. But, let's reiterate, it's always safer to hide than fight. Avoid confrontation if possible. The intent is not to win a battle, but to survive, to ensure the safety of yourself and your loved ones. And finally remember that safety is an ongoing process, a series of actions and decisions that need to be constantly revisited and updated. It's not a one-time purchase, but a lifestyle choice. Remember safety is not a product, it's a process. Keep your home secure and your family safe. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more safety tips.